One way to solve the problem of cleanability is to change the orientation of the dead leg. At our vertical starting position, let's turn on our pump to see what the air pocket looks like. At about 5 feet per second, we can see that the air pocket remains in this leg. Let's increase the velocity and see what happens. significantly higher than 5 feet per second, we can see that the air pocket is reduced but not completely removed. Now let's rotate the leg to a 45 degree angle and see if this will solve our problem. Now that we have rotated our T to 45 degrees, let's turn on our pump and see what happens to our air pocket. of approximately 5 feet per second, we can see that our air pocket still remains. It seems that it's slightly reduced from the upright to vertical position. Let's see what happens when we increase the velocity. is even further reduced with a velocity of significantly more than 5 feet per second, but we can still see the air bouncing around in this leg. Let's see what happens when we rotate our leg to 90 degrees from the starting position. Now with our T rotated to the 90 degree position, let's turn on our pump and see if we can get rid of the air pocket. So as you can see, at a, flow at a velocity of approximately 5 feet per second, our air pocket is very small and is bouncing around in this leg. This eliminates the cl cleanability problem almost completely as our end cap is being cleaned, as is our leg. Let's increase our flow rate and see what happens. As you can see, the air bubble becomes more sporadic and is moving faster than our leg. After about five minutes, this air pocket will be gone and we will have solved our problem by changing the orientation of our teeth. That's it for today. Look out for more from the Bioprocess Institute.